Hello and good evening. Welcome to Wednesday night. I'm Leanne Winston, Psychic Medium. For those that are new that are joining in for the first time, don't forget to comment in the uh, news feed. Let me know that you are watching for the first time. Welcome to everybody else that's joining in. I can see there's a few people coming in. Just before I do jump in, just a reminder to some housekeeping roles. I do ask you to help me spread the love and hit the share button. Invite your friends and family to join in. The more people, more like-mindedness that we can bring together, the much more support we have for each other and we're sitting in that light loving energy as well and to be sitting in that energy for you know five ten minutes or whatever can make a big difference in somebody's life when they are struggling or just feeling out of alignment so hit the share button invite your friends and family you can do it right through if you are watching the the hashtag you can still say uh, so if you are watching the replay hashtag replay and let me know because i do go back over the comments and myself and my team uh check them out um in the next couple of days after the show as well you can still share the show when you're watching the replay as well now i will answer some questions very shortly spirit just a reminder that spirit will draw me to where i need to go and i put my trust in spirit that they give those that need the answers um the quote like the time to get those answers as well if you have a question you'd like me to uh, tap in on please do uh, make it a direct question rather than a general question if you would like a card please do hashtag uh, card and i will i'm using my inner soul oracle cards tonight that deb and i had um published last year and if you'd like to get yourself a deck of those cards you can certainly do that through my um website leannewinston.com you just go into the inner soul area otherwise you can go directly to the website uh innersoulguidance.com.au and we can have them posted out to you within a matter of a day or two now we do have some brand new members this month into our inner circle membership and the lw mini membership as well so a big shout out to you beautiful people um i'm not going to list all your names off off of the top of my head but a very well big welcome and warm welcome to you guys joining in as well so hopefully we will see some of you guys up here on screen over the next couple of weeks or three or four weeks do check your emails for the link on wednesday mornings to be able to come up live and say hello we will jump down and say hello to the members that are in the green room as i can see they are starting to come in as well so we have my lovely mum here of course getting in early saying hi to everybody hey mum cindy's here hey gorgeous Kim's here. Hey, honey. How are you going? Um, Philip, uh, Phyllis is here as well. Hey, sweet. How are you? Uh, Lee. Hey, sweetheart. Uh, Kim. Hi, mum. <laughs> I like that. Um, Deborah is here saying hi, ladies. I will get to messages very shortly. Actually, I feel... Um, <sighs> I feel heavy hearted Deb with your uh, Deborah with your uh, thing and I know it's the fact that you're just missing dad at the moment with lots going on Kavita hey honey sorry if I have said that wrong it says I hope you are well I'm doing well thank you I would like to know uh, yep okay we will come back to that we have the lovely Sharon here as uh, uh, Shannon sorry honey uh, how are you hun and beautiful Jessica hey honey uh Kerry Ann is here hey hun we have the beautiful Nat hey gorgeous we got our technology stuff sorted <laughs> and the beautiful Melissa from Queensland uh, hey honey I see you're back here in Adelaide so welcome back to Adelaide and I get the feeling that it's that last bit of uh, closure this week for you guys uh Cindy hey um I went and saw a specialist just about the vertigo memories disease uh, diagnosis the MR scan will this far uh, we will come back to questions very shortly Nicole is here I just like to say hello to everybody Rebecca hey hun uh Leah hey honey Jeanette 
uh tori hey gorgeous long time no see barry is here hey barry how you going Kerry Ann has hit the shared button. Thank you, gorgeous, for sharing. I do appreciate it. Lashana is here. Hey, Hannah, I will come back um, and read your messages. Nicole, Roz, I was just wondering where Roz was. <laughs> hey, gorgeous, how are you going? We have David and Pauline. Lashana is showing me she shared. And uh, Jeanette, have I said hello to Jeanette? I think I did. And the beautiful Sandra is here. And uh, Nicole said hi. Uh, just checking to see who I have missed. Uh, Jody, hey, gorgeous. Hey, going? Uh, Donna, Donna's here. Hey, beautiful. Uh, Debbie, hey, honey. Kimberly. All right. So <laughs> the list keeps going on when Need is here. Hey, gorgeous. Good to see you here. And Carly is here as well. Now, just a reminder before I do jump in and start asking questions, just scrolling back to the top. Um, if you would like to become a member or join my inner circle, please do check out. I did it wrong again. The link here above my head become um, leannewinston.com forward slash become a member so we have two levels of membership the full inner circle membership which is 297 for the year or forty dollars a month if you want to go that way otherwise the mini membership is 97 dollars at the moment um, per year or ten dollars a month so certainly do check them out and in both memberships so i've got spirit annoying my nose already in both memberships you certainly get to come up here on wednesday night the lovely ladies in the green room and have a chat with me get some answers um, or pick a subject that you want to talk about and we certainly can take it from there. Now, before I do jump into connecting with the lovely members down in the green room um, and starting on the list of questions because there is a few there, just a reminder, hit the share button, invite your friends and family to join in. But I really would love to know in the comments, what is your biggest challenge at the moment? okay so many people are facing different challenges at the moment so i am really interested in finding out what is your biggest challenge at the moment and maybe we could go through those comments and we could look at breaking down some of those things and i might be able to give you some tools on helping you through that those challenges or looking at why that challenge is coming up so certainly do feel free to share this is a safe environment with no judgment all right <laughs> christy's saying teenager ah hormones <laughs> okay so christy straight away i just get frustrating max at the max at the moment sort of thing i also get the reference to honey it's really important to take a step back take a deep breath when you step out take that step back what we are doing is we are removing ourselves out of that immediate energy take a deep breath and by doing that what we're doing is helping to ground ourselves which will give us the clearer picture of what is going on it is really important not to get pulled into the in heightened energy at the moment so some people are finding that you've heard me explain the two energy groups over time we are finding that some people in the lower vibrational energy group and let me know in the comments if you need me to explain the energy groups because I'm happy to go into that. I just don't want to repeat myself <laughs> um, if you guys have already heard it. Um, what happens is we're finding those lower vibrational energy groups, what I call the 3D energies, is very much in heightened. So when they're in that headspace, in that victim energy, poor me, the, you know, the focus is on me, they will they look to feed off of that in heightened energy so if they can create drama or get a response they will do that so honey um and christy with that i just get the reference to don't play into that energy at the moment take a deep breath look at the bigger picture when you've stepped out of that energy hesitate in replying come back calmly 
and be aware of what you're saying and say it calmly. And I get the reference to that is going to change a little bit of the energy at the moment, but I wish you all the very best with that. All right. And I laugh because I know what it's like. <laughs> Sorry, honey. It is not fun. So we've got Nicole saying court. Okay. So honey, um, so I, with that, I'll, I'm just very much drawn to the end picture, staying focused on that end goal and what it is that you're working towards. Don't let the negativity of the fear come into it. So if you can bring the focus back within, um, breathe through it and find the peace in what is going on, even though it's in tight and it's stressful, try not to lean back into that energy, okay? Uh, Rebecca is saying getting back into the dating game, laugh out loud. Honey, I, I don't have an answer for that besides be yourself, have fun and enjoy it as well. So, you know, um, it's not something I can picture myself needing to get back into, but I can imagine it is quite scary. But just be you, do you, do what you do best, okay? Tori says, the biggest challenge is balancing my workload and my own mental health at the moment. Honey, that doesn't surprise me because what you do is quite intense, but also that the universal energy is quite in heightened at the moment as well. So maybe there's the need to have that outlet as well with that. As you know, that is really important. But um, I just get the reference to it's about, uh, I, I feel like you're, you're evolved, your vibrations are much higher at the moment as well as trying to carry everybody else's energy. So the need to let go, the need to switch off, um, spoil yourself, honey, even if it's a massage or something where you can switch off, okay? Um, I am in hospice. Oh, honey, my heart goes out to you. Okay, uh, I, I am with hospice and uh, we're missing the rest of the answer there, hun. Uh, Resentment, uh, resentment has come up for me. Okay, so go deeper in, honey. Why is that resentment coming up? What is the trigger? And it's funny because I do feel like things are being triggered at the moment, but I feel like it's a final push to release stuff. Now, I'm talking in general, honey, so to me it's a feeling of moving that final energy that has stopped us from moving forward and remove it so we can actually stand in our power okay um barry hi leanne uh using uh barry pg thanks your first time here and ah welcome barry uh thank you mine is working on rations w oh okay um mine is working on rash rashes Crashes. Okay, so body. Those that are, because I did see somebody else in the comment put there about um, health as well. Chronic pain. Jeanette, here we go. My biggest challenge is managing my chronic pain and deciding if I should keep persisting with working or is it at time just to rest? I'm actually drawn to resting, honey, with that. But I do want to say, let's go back to Barry with the rash. Um, I do want to say for those that are suffering with health issues and chronic pain and different stuff like that, take a look. And now, <coughs> excuse me, I need to say I'm not trained in medical in any way, okay? So spirit gives me warning bells. It means that there's something serious going on. If it's not, it's about maintaining it, about finding balance, okay? So I always like to make that clear that I am not trained in medical in any way. And if you do have an issue or unsure or something, please don't hesitate to seek medical, uh, proper medical advice, okay? I can only give you what spirit is uh, gives me. But I'm very much drawn, and I have noticed this in my body this year for January, okay, um, that... I think we carry a lot of other people's energies. We carry stress. We carry the weight of the world on our shoulders, so to speak. And I have noticed over this, oh, spirit, stop playing with my nose. <laughs> Sorry, I will get to spirit very shortly. Um, I have found through the month of January, 
I struggled with my own health. People uh, that have been watching me for a while know that I suffer with fibromyalgia, so it's kind of like a chronic fatigue, uh, achy muscles and all that sort of stuff, brain fog and stuff, okay? Um, and I am usually have been able to get myself into a position where I can manage it reasonably well um, and know when to rest and when to push through, so to speak. I've found through the month of January that I just couldn't seem to get on top of those aches and pains, the tiredness, the fatigue, um, the brain fog and stuff like that. I had an aha moment about a week ago where I realised that I could no longer keep putting up with negativity in my life, okay? And it's kind of like as much as I was trying to help and please people, I felt like I was constantly walking on eggshells with that, okay? So by cutting that energy, making that decision, I have noticed this week my body is starting to improve. So what happens is we carry those things in our aura and eventually our body says, enough is enough. I can't keep doing this. I can't keep carrying this weight, um, the negativity, um, whatever it is that you're holding on to and can't let go of. So then we start to see the physical reactions in our body. So if you are somebody that is um, suffering with a lot of pain, body reactions and stuff like that, maybe just take a moment. And I'm not saying this is every the cure for everybody, but I encourage people to stop and look at what is going on in their life. What are you holding on to? You know, is there things that you need to let go of that no longer serve a purpose? Why is my body reacting this way? Okay. For instance, different parts of our body represent different areas of our spiritual life okay our energy field so for women those that have reproductive issues issues around the uterus and all that stuff that can be mother issues okay because it's that birthing that re, um, reproduction side of stuff all right so that's just one example different like i said different areas of your body have different effects on different things so maybe just take a look at what's going on in your body what are you holding on to does it serve a purpose now the common thing i noticed um and have had on my mind for quite a long time like for quite a few years now is years or generations ago when things happened in families we didn't, well, they didn't talk about it. They shut down. They didn't deal with it. They, it was just like, right, no, no more talking about it. Nobody needs to know. It's nobody else's business. You move on. Okay. So you don't deal with that energy or that situation or whatever it is. I believe that a lot of those people that went through things like that in the, their later years, a lot of them became, um, <sighs> sufferers with cancer um, and different stuff like that, cancers, leukemias, and things where the body was eaten away, so to speak. Now, the disease ate, ate into the body. And I seriously believe a lot of that stuff, like I said, I'm not a doctor, a lot of that stuff can go back into what we've held on to, what we haven't dealt with for a very long time. Okay, Deborah's just letting me know she's missing, feeling very lonely, missing dad. Jolene is here as well. Jolene, sorry, honey, I've got the K both on the same page. Okay, yep, so you, you know what I mean. Um, okay, so we've got lots of questions there. Nothing exactly right now. So Jeanette's finding things are unsettled. And that really doesn't surprise me, hun, because the energy at the moment is very much up in the air. I'm actually starting to feel like this energy is starting to um, settle down, like there is hope moving forward. So it is about... Um, like a lot of you would have heard me say, come December, January, we had the overlapping of the New Year energy. Um, and it seems like a lot of January was moving out the energy of 2020. Okay. Uh, sorry, 2021. <laughs> We're in 22 now, all the twos today. So um, 
we do get that overlapping energy. So we get the two energies come together and can be quite frustrating at time. Now that we've moved into February and we are only the second day of February, I can actually start to feel this energy is starting to settle. It is starting to lift. It is very much about becoming focused on what you're working towards, standing in your power, believing in what you're doing, manifesting what it is you want, having that clear, clear picture of what you're working towards. All right. Um, Joe is also here and Kylie is here as well. Hey, Joanna, she's here. Diana's here. Beautiful. So we've got a few people here. Um, I'm... Okay, uh, Tori's just saying, I'm a godly and uh, made me tear up. It's funny, it, I think that's the energy at the moment. Let me know in the comments, are you feeling emotional this last, I want to say, 48 hours, okay? Because there's been certain things where I've sort of gone, okay, I'm getting emotional. Why am I getting emotional, all right? And I do feel like it is energetic emotion at the moment of stuff that we've been holding on to. Just can't stop it. I'm getting um, massages every two weeks. Oh, beautiful, honey. Um, Barry saying, sorry, I'm Lynn. Oh, sorry, and you're Lynn. Sorry, I thought that was you were meaning Leanne. I have had people um, spell it that way. So body uh, rushes on your body, yeah. Um Ah, it's Joylene's first time here as well. Welcome, honey. Guys, don't forget to hit the follow button if you're on Leanne Winston's Psychic Medium page or even if you are watching here on My Time TV or if you're coming from YouTube, don't forget to hit the follow button there or the subscribe button there as well. Barry's letting, or Lynn's letting me know, very stressed. Carly's here. Hey, honey. Um... Paul and Pauline is here. Beautiful. We're going to get cards in a minute. Uh, we've got Jasmine here. Um, all right. So Kay's here. So if I have missed anybody, a big hello. Hey, you're doing a five-day challenge. I haven't got a five-day challenge going at the moment, though, but that is something I may be looking at very shortly. I'm starting to restructure some of my courses at the moment, and I'm actually thinking of starting another group page uh, on certain subject for people to join in as well. So keep your eyes out for all that stuff. Um, Lynn saying, makes sense, being tired. So yes, true. Yeah, that's it. Um, Margaret's here. Hey, Margaret. All right. And Louisa is also, Louisa is also here. All right. So, um, take a look at what's going on in your body, like in your body, in your life at the moment as well. Look at why these challenges are coming up. I really feel a lot of us are being challenged to finally let go of the things that no longer serve a purpose in our life because when we shed that energetic weight, we are going to move forward so lighter and so much with ease. So if we're doing the work on ourselves now, we're going to see that bigger outcome come through very quickly. So don't waste time. Do the work on yourselves because the longer we hold on to all this energetic crap that we hold on to, the longer it's all going to be drawn out. Okay, and I know myself, I want to create magic this year. Okay, let me know in the comments, do you want to create magic? Hashtag magic, um, if you want to create that magic in your life. All right, let's go and say hi to Nicole. I'll bring her up, up in the stream. Uh, what have I got here? Hey, honey, how are you going? Oops, can't hear you. I've got to unmute you. That might help. There we are. I'll move my camera so I can see you. How are you? Magic is here. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Happy New Year. I don't think I've caught up with you this year. No, I've been a bit, yeah. Busy, busy girl? <laughs> yeah, excellent. On a, on a very good path and, yeah. Good. So it's been a good 2022 so far. Well, I've just been listening to all your stuff and everything you've been saying has been happening to me. Yeah. Everything. Yeah, perfect. So I had, I had some healing. I think I might have mentioned in a comment just before Christmas. Yeah. yeah. Oh my yeah. god, 
It's amazing. <laughs> it makes a huge difference, doesn't it? And sometimes it just takes that different level of energy to shift and it can create so many different things in your life. The magic oh, is the word I wanted to use. The dad came through. Dad was there. Dad gave me so many messages. Yeah. It was amazing. And then, yeah, shifted over to my right, which gave me the strength to get through Christmas. Yeah. Get through the house. Perfect. I was laughing again, smiling again. So yeah. then I went back and had some more healing. Yep. Um, Because she said, now I'm awakening now. Yep. So everything's Excellent. happening. Yep. You've just got this glow around you, hun. I don't know if other people can see it on the camera. I know obviously there's a mirror or something behind you but wow. and there's a reflection from the light, but there's this whole glow. Your energy just looks totally different. And the other thing I wanted to say is I honestly don't think the healing was just for you. It was for Dad at the same time on the other mm -hmm. side sort of thing. And I love when that happens because, you know, I understand Dad was difficult. Dad went through a lot and you went through massive with him before his mm -hmm. passing. But I honestly felt when you said you had healing and he came through, he needed that healing just as much as you did. So it's helped him find peace in that too. I just feel better and, yeah, I feel good. Excellent. And how's work going, things settling down there with everything oh. settling in the way of healing? Oh, look, everything with COVID and everything. But I've taken this week <laughs> off. Yep. Because I've been a bit, I've gone flat again. <laughs> yep. I yep. love the fact that you're you're acknowledging what your energy is doing. You're listening to your body. And yeah. That's huge. And that's a big thing for people to be able to learn how to do it. Okay. I've never done this before. This, I know. Yeah. I get all excited because, you know, this is it now. So I'm excited for you. And know that there could be days that you feel like you're slipping back slightly, but it really is about giving yourself permission to have that moment and then go, right, tomorrow's a new day. I'm going to pick myself up and I'm going to reset myself and refocus. Well, so. we're selling the house now, so I've got the removalist coming tomorrow. So it's been pretty full on the last month. Yeah, wow. Yeah. You're not going to know what to do with yourself when it's all settled and it's all finalised. Yeah, I just, I need a break. Yeah, that's it. So some new time. I've been seeing heaps of feathers. Yeah. So where does your mind go when you first see the feather? Well, I saw a feather at the back door. So ever since I've had all this healing, it's been really weird yeah. and I've, got, I've been doing my own angel cards and my okay. readings have been spot on. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> and anyway, so I saw this first um, feather and I'm like, okay, I acknowledged it. I said, hi, Dad, how are you going? Yeah. Uh, what messages have you got for me today? And then last night I was standing out the back on the lawn and this feather fell from, <laughs> from the bloody sky and then it yeah. my toes. Are you kidding? You couldn't get that to happen if you wanted it to happen. I yeah. love the way that they put the signs in front of us. Well, I guess I'm watching it now. and I'm Yeah. But you're also in a state now that you are ready to see that stuff where before the grief was so strong and all the mixed emotions that you were dealing with because my feeling there was a lot of anger, you know, frustration and everything else because mm. it was such a, a long process to get Dad through all that and then to be left with the mess type of thing as well. So it's kind of like all of a sudden you've got yourself into a state where you can find peace when you see those signs. It's hmm. It doesn't bring up those emotions like it, it was. It's the healing process. But I've been crying, as you were saying before, just crying for no reason. Yeah, I did it today. I was watching a workshop on Facebook and they just said it was just simple, silly stuff and it was like, the tears are rolling down my face and I'm like, you know, I've, I have felt a little bit triggered the last couple of weeks because somebody's going through something we went through a few, like a few years ago. So it kind of brought up memories that I mm. thought I had dealt with and, you know, it wasn't a problem back when it happened. But I think I'm feeling more the fact that that person's got to go through what we went through, their pain type of thing mm. rather than it being connected to what we felt at that time so um but i i just feel like the universal energy in that sense is very in heightened at the moment 
I was watching Home and Away before and I cried at no. something on there. <laughs> well, I just cried on the voice from their mother and their well, I guess that's a bit of a thing with my dad. But yeah. Mother and daughter won and I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't take much, does it? No. And I don't know if I'm going to say unfortunately or fortunately as we are more connected to that spiritual side and our intuition is aligning, I found being an empath, those things happen more often. And you got to get to the point where you go, well, this isn't my energy or I just need to release this energy, like these emotions to move because it's not my emotions I'm holding on to. Yeah, I'm talking now because that second healing I had, I had really bad dark energy come through. Yeah. Like black, black. And wow. I was really scared and yeah. I called out and I thought, you know, she couldn't hear me and I thought, you know, I've got, I've got to, there was a reason why I went for that second healing and I've got to learn how to address it. So I asked for Dad. Yeah. He came really quickly. He was only there for Perfect. Nana's with you. And I saw it before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been doing it since I, I came know. live, since I hit the start button. <laughs> she came through, through me with my second healing too. Like oh, all beautiful. Through. Yeah. But, yeah, so he came quickly and it was only there and then he sort of faded. But all I said is, please help me because I was petrified and then I left. So I am learning and I'm awakening and I'm trying to, you know, yeah. explain. That's it. And sometimes I think the fear is because we don't understand and sort of think, you know, it's it's new. It's things that we haven't experienced before. Some people it's like, well, that doesn't make sense why I would sense it that way and stuff. Yeah, but the energy is so, so bad. I just, yeah. yeah. But I love the way that you ask for the help, you ask for the protection sort of thing. Yeah. And it is, you know, it is about the communication sort of thing. So always know you're never alone. Now, and then I saw rainbow thing. straight after, all colourful and beautiful. It was, it was beautiful. Yeah, I love that energy when you walk out of a healing on that such um, in the con uh, the highest conscious mind, the self sort of conscious mind type of thing, and it's and like you yeah, float. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a weird feeling, but I love it. I love sitting in it. And I just so, ask a question because I know you probably do. And um, just oh, look, you know what I've been going on with everything, but my sister, I just want to know if there's anything on that with all of this. My sister. Yeah. Okay. Um, she's quite triggered at the moment. Okay. Yeah, been fighting a bit. Yeah, because I get she's quite triggered. So to me, I want to say very in heightened energy. I actually feel that she's got a lot of regret that she's holding on to at the moment. So would I be right in saying she puts a lot of pressure on herself? But I still I feel like it's kind of turned around a little bit to like the victim energy in the sense that she missed out on things sort of thing in that sense in her mind not in the physical form so whether she feels that she was lacking in the areas or could have done things differently mm -hmm. i get the emotions are coming up now okay she kind of feels like she's been pushed aside forgotten about in a sense in her own head yeah i have pushed her away yeah, because I feel like she feels she's been left out of things. So whether it's decision making or things happening that she hasn't felt that she should have been more involved mm -hmm. in and stuff like that, it's easy to blame other people is the reference I get. Okay, I think she needs a healing in herself. So, but I can't see her doing that anytime soon. Sort of thing. It's best for you to set your boundaries. If you need to deal with her, reflect that energy back. See that mirror between her and you with the reflective side facing her. Like so, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here we go again. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. So you're not um, taking on her energy in it's that no sense. Good. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. And that's the thing. Like we can allow them to affect us without even realising that's what we're doing. So it's just, you know, you can be there, do what you need to do, but you don't need to give her the permission to affect you in the way that she would have in the past. It's her journey, her problem, she needs to learn from it. She'll I've, get there. I've kept her away because, look, I don't want to go into this because yeah. it's quite full on, but yeah, it's easier for me just to do it. That's all I can say. Mm. Yeah, exactly. It was that right through when Dad was alive even. Mm. And I get that's what she holds on to, the fact that she wasn't involved or she didn't feel important enough to be a part of it. But at the same time, I don't feel that she offered up that help either. If you asked her to do something, she'd get involved. 
it would take more time, energy. Well, she's got a heart. She's no, she's got a heart of gold, but she's just yeah. sorry. She's not worldly. Yeah. Now she's saying that I haven't finished uni, and I haven't got you know you know the brain, and and now I'm starting to get all anxious over it. What's that got to do with anything, though? Oh, because apparently hey. I don't understand her language. <laughs> So I haven't got a uni degree and I'm not, you know. But not everything. Sorry for those out there that have done the study. Good on you because that's what you needed to do for yourself. You need to have everything. You need to have. You've got to have life experience. You've got to have a balance sort of thing. And I honestly feel at the moment we are going to see more and more of these people come out where they are very critical of others, okay. I seen it in the chemist with the poor chemist guy the other day and a client come in without a mask. Apparently he has a, um, what do you call it, so exemption, and that's all good. But he was getting narky at the chemist because the chemist would not take his card to swipe over the FPOS machine. And he carried on about that. And I thought, okay, everybody's entitled to their beliefs, but we don't need to push our beliefs onto everybody else. We don't need to nitpick sort of thing we just need to do what's right for us excuse me but i think we can achieve more sometimes without a degree by going out there and doing the hands-on stuff and learning i know myself i learn better with my hands than i do with books sort of thing so each to their own we've got to do what's right for ourselves i just gotta you know understand that you know we're yeah. both different yeah that's what she needs to understand more so he doesn't but that's her. That's where you've got to understand. That's her. That's her thing. I don't need to take it on. I know it can be hard <laughs> in that She's sense. She's putting heaps of other ways. But when it yeah. comes to things like this, that's what my husband said, turn it around to her. Like if a lawyer, you know, rings you and says, oh, Nana, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I've got it too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's funny. And like the com a conveyancer thing or a lawyer thing, you know, that comes up, you know, I ring her and say, what should I do? Yep. Yeah. She's got the privilege that she, that is her. She will know the answer. answer. Yeah. <laughs> I want an answer now. Because what yeah. I'm saying, like she does have other really great qualities and different things. Yeah. But she's understand that, you know, I've got good qualities too. Yeah. Exactly, and we have our strengths and our weaknesses in different yeah. areas. Can you imagine if we were all strong in one area and we were lacking in others? Hmm. It'd be a very unbalanced world. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so just reflect it back to her. Don't take it on. I do get the feeling that things will get better sort of things. So just try not to react to those actions. Like she, I was still talking about before. she still hasn't had a baby yet. so Hasn't she? Yeah, so there's a lot of build-up of emotions and mixed feelings and stuff like that. So, mm. yeah, she'll get there. All right. All right, honey. Well, it's good to see you. I'm pleased things are heading in the right direction. Keep up the good work because it is, it's a balance every day. I can see my aura too in the room. <laughs> it's cool, isn't it? I love yeah. it. Yeah. And I've been is... seeing people's auras too, like with the real estate agent the other day. I saw yeah. this real shine light. You know when you make eye contact with someone and you feel like you get really deep but you have to look away? Yeah, it's that, that off-centre. <laughs> you feel like you're getting that deep that you're staring. And then <laughs> it you're, is a weird feeling, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is a weird feeling. I had to stare away. But anyway, later on I found out something and he told me something quite personal and I said to him, I said, you know, what he was saying, I don't want to say it. Yeah, it's not, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that particular person I was talking about, I said, was with you. When I was Perfect. talking, that was that was that person around him with the spirit. I love it. Yeah, I love it. I love it. You're seeing this stuff for a reason. Yeah, exactly. And that's the thing: we will get drawn to people for reasons. So I'm learning on how to work it all, but I'll get. There. Yeah, it's a journey, and it's step by step. Go where you're drawn. Do workshops, whatever, whatever you feel the need to do. I have to come work with you soon. Yeah, good idea. Well, hey, I was only talking to somebody about building my team bigger oh. today, <laughs> sort of thing. Yeah, a couple of years is going to take me a while. But yeah. <laughs> That's right. I'll enjoy you. That's fine. I love coaching. So <laughs> beautiful. All right, keep up the good work, honey. I All love right. it. Yeah. All right, have a good week. Yeah. Bye. Right. Bye. Oh, beautiful. I love the way people's energy, how we've got to go through this journey, I should say, um, to get to where we need. And sometimes those journeys aren't always easy. 
it can be a challenge to get there but we need to experience that stuff for a reason all right let's bring the gorgeous sue up and say hello to her it helps if i click on the button there we go i still got Nicole's grandmother how are you <laughs> good how are you i am doing well thank you and you i'm good i'm good i had a headache day today ah. i don't know if it's like hay fevery stuff or what it was but apart yeah. from that i'm really good I was reading something earlier today. I think it was Kerry Denise shared. And I tried to share it to my page and it was quite long, but Facebook was having a hissy fit, so I don't <laughs> think it went across. Um, and that talks about, she was talking about the, the universal changes we're going on through at the moment and a lot of people are going to experience headaches, the aching body, oh, the tiredness and stuff okay. like that. So it could be just that shift of energy too. Yeah, possibly. yeah, because I haven't awesome. felt the heaviness or that you know a few people are talking about or the yeah. kind of the heavy stuff that can you know we can feel but definitely the tired the headache today that just like yeah. even though my spirit was lifted my body was like Egh. <laughs> yeah that's it and that's that's funny i like the way you say that because i'm starting to feel like the creativity is coming back the mm. excitement mm. type of thing but it is that same sort of feeling of the the body sort of just going eh, type of thing as well yeah. some people may be finding that the ringing of the ears i've got that massive mm. the last couple of days but yep. it's yep. very much connected to this energy that's yeah. rather in heightened at the moment so. and maybe the body's trying to catch up with the spirit you know so yeah it's kind of to do with the uploading and downloading it's yeah. like we're moves, leap, um, moving to a different vibration yeah sort of thing we're, we're rising is probably a good way to put it yeah. unfortunately she says that those symptoms can last for a few days yeah. <laughs> As long as, I'm, as long as I feel the excitement. Yeah. Yeah, we just keep pushing through, but we do need that. So. That's it. <laughs> At the oh, same God. time. So did you have a question, Hunt? Because we can talk all night. I know what we're like. I know. <laughs> um, I was thinking, I'm like, I need to go on, but I just, I'm like, I don't know what I need to know. Okay. So maybe that's so, the question. What do I need to know? What am I? All right. Not so I got told pull a card. Yeah. Um, I get look at over the next three weeks. It is the feeling of things are going to be quite intense, but intense in a positive way. So growth, um, things moving. The card that I have that has just fallen out of the deck is the the star. And it's very much about looking to the stars, taking the time to manifest, have that clear vision of what it is that you are working for. So I, um, you've probably heard me say already tonight, we are in an intense manifest manifest mm. state period and i feel like we're going to be in that um all of february most mm. of january we've been in it is i feel like it's more intensified now so keep that vision of what you're working towards yeah. feel like the energy is moving see it coming in give yourself permission to be that diva yeah. sort of and oh, i like that. that be the diva be the diva yeah <laughs> i think we all need to be our own divas That's in one right. way or yeah, another yeah, yeah and the more we're doing that the more that energy is starting to align like the stars coming together so just yeah i feel like it's flowing towards me very strongly i get a really yeah. strong sense of that yeah um, good and there's like an excitement in my spirit that it's coming together like it's all coming yeah together. so that's what it feels like yeah it's a good feeling in that because i've yeah. been feeling like that for probably 12 18 months it's coming yeah. there's big things happening i'm impatient i wanted it straight away yeah. <laughs> sort of thing you know what i'm like but it is that feeling like we've just got this final shift we need to move to make that mm -hmm. happen to align yeah. that and happen. last last year was that impatient thing it's like when is it going to happen and this year it's oh. really interesting because the energy is a lot less chaotic it's a lot less um mm. kind of impatient this yeah. is just this knowing it's hard to explain because yeah. it doesn't feel like last year was like come on <laughs> that's it last year's energy thinking back on it the words that come to my head is like foggy energy sort of thing like it was just a big fog of what we went through where that fog's yeah. now lifting that clarity is there yeah. stuff is shifting and i've been saying to people for a while now 
it's like hold on to your hat energy. It's like, aha, that did that just happen type of thing. It's yeah. going to happen hard and fast as that happened. Yeah. So the yeah. more work we've done on ourselves, the sooner that stuff is going to come through. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and people yeah. don't like to do work on themselves. <laughs> <laughs> yes it's very i don't know i think people feel guilty when they do the work on themselves and that's what we've got to learn to let go of is that guilt and why do you think it's guilt because we are so um consumed in making everybody else happy focusing on mm -hmm. everybody else we're conditioned that way you know how many times are we told to go out there and do something nice for somebody else or you've got to help others and all that stuff where mm -hmm. now it is very much about bringing the focus back within and then helping those when we've got that balance mm. sort of thing so i think it's old ways old structures yeah very much where it comes get, up to yeah i get that whole old way of and it's not the way it always was but it's the way that it become where women had to yeah. kind of be the everything for everyone and sacrifice themselves like you're a woman don't don't expect to have a life yeah you're here exactly <laughs> <laughs> and i'm finding myself you want a career <laughs> that's it and i'm finding myself lately that i'm getting more frustrated that i am trying to balance all this stuff like yeah. for example we were getting low in gas. My husband said to me end of last week, oh, I think you're pushing it a bit far. You better organise another bottle of gas. I'm like, you've got three days off. You've got a credit card. It takes a phone call. You know, you know the company name. Hello. Hello. Do I look like your secretary? I'm That's sorry. That's it. I've, I've spent the day tied to the computer or in reading with people all day. Have you seen me? <laughs> they have an after hour service that you can leave a message on. <laughs> Oh but it's just God. little things like that where the expectations are there that we do need to, you know, do all yeah. that stuff. And also we've trained them, and I'm talking now generational, yeah. we've trained them because we were trained that way, so we kept training our men that way. Yeah. Um, and so we yeah. created it in a way too because that's what we were told we were meant to do. And Yeah. Um, yeah that's it and that's the thing we need to make change and well done sandra yeah. and starting to let go of that crap in your life yeah good on you i love it yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, <laughs> be gone <laughs> old <laughs> exactly. that's it but it takes us a while to see those patterns it takes us a while to see that bigger picture of what's actually going on and that's yeah. the hardest part yeah to acknowledge that and yeah. to me the the letting go flows from there once you've acknowledged mm. it mm. so when they don't excellent i love the fact you could see nicole's glow so we've got a few people here coming they can see it excellent <laughs> so beautiful all right honey well okay. lovely to see you lovely and see you. you take care i'm, I'm still it's still on my list to book that <laughs> i love it it's been crazy <laughs> oh my gosh and it's really interesting because it's not hectic but it is full yeah um, and so it's like it's not hectic like last year was hectic but yeah this year is full still but in a different different way but yeah. i'm like oh is it nine o'clock already good lord <laughs> that's it i actually said that to a friend today like she's been trying to get me for over a a week and a half to go to her house and put colour in her hair because she likes me to come and do it rather than go to the hairdressers. And I was supposed to go one day and I couldn't get there. Then it was like, let me know about this day and that whole day went past and I forgot about it. So <laughs> she messaged yesterday and said, are you supposed to come today? And I said, I don't know where we're at with it. <laughs> but I can make some time Tuesday. And then I'm like thinking, I and no, Wednesday, sorry, being today. Then I'm thinking, well, I've only got one client booked in online. I can get it in between. And I, it was coming to time where she sent me a message and said, I'm home from work now. You can come over. And I just said to my husband, oh, my God, I don't have time for this. I have this long list of to-do stuff. And a lot of it is just time-consuming, watching videos and yeah. uh, doing the trainings and stuff like that. And it's like, oh, my God, <laughs> the list is just getting longer and longer again sort of thing so yeah you know i think we do need to stop and breathe at times yes. <laughs> breathing is good i think breathing is very good <laughs> yeah, that's it. says her that's got a meeting tomorrow morning about setting up another two expos so. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> 
that's not adding more time to my that calendar. Is <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's crazy. I love it though. Yeah. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Yeah. You wouldn't do it otherwise. No, that's it. I love watching people come together and promoting businesses and stuff and, like that. And as wonderful as that is, we do still need to put in the pauses because mm -hmm. then we get to enjoy the what we love to do more because yeah. we've had the pause and we've refreshed and we charged. And, yeah. That's it. Otherwise we become tired, yeah. run down, burnt yeah. out and then start to... Re um, to regret what we're doing hmm. yeah. and it becomes <laughs> so, a resentful thing even that's though the way it love, <laughs> you're resenting it yeah yeah exactly that's mm -hmm. it so i think that's something we all need reminders to do regularly yeah. even if it's yeah. five minutes five minutes twice a day stop yeah. and breathe yeah that sort of thing so yeah. put an alarm on you know breathe breathe every couple of <laughs> breathe <laughs> i need to set my watch to say that instead of you have not exercised for the yeah. last two hours oh uh, hello yes <laughs> you know who i was saying was it to you i was saying it last week that my life was really i was really happy with life until my son got me the watch where it tells me that i don't stand enough and i don't move enough yeah. and exercise in life i'm like do i really want this on my arm <laughs> that's it my kids bought me one last year my husband and my mum um for my birthday last year because yeah. that's what i asked for but i didn't realize that it gives you so much freaking attitude <laughs> So, i'm like this is worse for the kids and the husband i'm like yeah that's right yeah and it's only because between my desk my office and my bathroom is not that far and halfway between here and the bathroom i get congratulations you are moving <laughs> <laughs> i just need to sit here and swing my arm i think i love that <laughs> if i only knew i was going to pee <laughs> oh goodness <laughs> all right honey will you take care and we will you catch too. up very soon thanks sir. Bye. Bye. bye all right i love it god i can't believe the hour is nearly gone already so let's jump in and do um some questions uh tori's just saying my energy and body uh, just feels depleted at the moment even though i'm practicing self-care Go back into taking breaths, hun. Ground yourself as well because it is really very much about um, finding that balance. And I do feel that the way the energy is being, um, it is the feeling like we need to to bring it all together with that. Have a lovely night, Wendy. I think you've probably already gone, hun. Um, all right, I think that was for Nicole. It's a gift to honour her. So I'm sure she is, honey. Caitlin, hey, hun. Can you please tell me if I'm going to get a job tomorrow? I'm really nervous. I feel good about it, honey. I've got that butterflies in my stomach and I always look at the nervous side of stuff as being positive. It keeps you grounded. So take that as a positive in that, okay? Uh, Deborah, yes, I got a yes straight away with that, hun. Oh, what's going on with your neck, your shoulder area, hun? area hun because as soon as i started to read your message it was kind of like i need to crack my neck my neck's sort of feeling stiff tight yeah um with muscles in that way okay samantha it's a long one i'm hoping dustin connects with a message for me i oh okay i'm sure i have been missing him a lot i'm so glad i'm watching your show Thank you both for your, your and believing, uh, being live and helping with everyone's healing um, processes. Thank you, honey, for your very kind words. I do appreciate it. And it is uh, my honour and mine and Ros's honour on Friday nights in that way. Now, when I read uh, Dustin Connects with you, all of a sudden it was like I couldn't catch my breath and I kind of felt like the wind was taken out of me. So how was his lungs or his breath work, the wind taken out of him in that way? Because I get the reference to um, there was a lot going on with him. I feel his big heart, his beautiful smile. So I do love his energy in that way. And I feel there's times you close your eyes and you see him in your mind. So please know that he is very much there. The hands on the heart, so that shows me the love and the pride. Are you not drinking enough water, hun? 
Oh, well, sunlight, sorry, I feel dehydrated with your energy. So to me, I just feel like the water intake has to go on or water had a significance for him. All right, so sending you much love. Um, Margaret, I'm drawn to you. It's been a real rough couple of days for my daughter and myself. My daughter has been having a lot of absent seizures. It's so hard to go through. Honey, my heart goes out to you and your daughter and I send lots of healing love. I actually feel that you are going to start getting some answers. So um, I get the reference to look at new trials coming up. So maybe ask the questions, keep asking the questions, and I get you will start to get um, the investigations done further into it because I feel like this is something that she's been having for a bit. But I get the reference to it's like we need to revisit the treatment side of it and why it's happening okay i'm not getting warning bells around it but i do feel that it is about finding a balance okay uh, so lots of love and healing to you too honey i actually feel like i need to send healing out to so many of you today um and maybe that's something as a group we could do is just picture ourselves sending healing to everybody in the list because my feeling is everybody is going through something to what degree at the moment that they need that healing to be able to move forward from and to bring that balance back in. So um, I'm while I'm talking, I am actually sending that healing out. Some of you may even feel tingles and stuff um, as I'm doing that. Tamara says the emotions are so are strong at the moment. Yeah, so there's so many of us that are feeling it. Okay. Um, Okay, so Jesse, there are lots of healers out there. It depends what sort of healing you want. I can do online healings where I scan, like through a Zoom meeting or something like that, where I can um, scan your body, move the energy and different stuff. Um, Kerry Denise is, a, like if you're in the Adelaide area, is a very good healer. She uses voice toning and stuff. Um, I know Roz does some healings. Uh, she uses the Healy and I'm sure she can use sound therapy with bowls and stuff to do the healings as well. Um, where am I drawn? Okay, who haven't I done? Uh, hi, Leanne, do you see a date when I'll be accepted into my property? Absolutely depleted. I'm seeing the number two around that, hun. I think you might have asked me that question or somebody asked me one very similar, but I'm seeing the number two with that. Uh, Margaret saying, take care, beautiful. Thank you, honey. Um, Carly says, have a wonderful night, Leanne. Big hugs to you. Thank you, gorgeous. Same to you. And thank you guys for joining in. I know I do run over, my daughter reminded me for I she left for netball tonight that I do run over time. Um, but um, I know this hour gets away and I do get behind with the messages. And the other thing is that um, as part of my memberships, my inner circle members and my um, people in the LW pm mini membership they will take priority as they are um, paid up members as part of their thing kim says uh they were awesome the winners beautiful sing singers ah lovely all right let me scroll down did i oh yes i did samantha did caitlin uh jeanette says damn you are good your pick sleeps less drained <laughs> Ah, oh, beautiful. All right. Thank you, honey. Danette's talking about yes, balance. Wonderful. Amy, good to see you again. Any messages for me? I'm going to just split the deck of cards, hun, um, and pull you the first, the card that came out because it is a very indirect question <laughs> in that way. The broom has is what has come out for you, honey. It's about clearing out your closet, clear the clutter out, whether it's physical or energetic. I'm actually drawn to both at the moment. Make way to receive your new blessings. So I think that's a good reminder for everybody at the moment is to let go of what no longer serves a purpose, energetically, physically, mentally, 
to make room for what is to come through because there is going to be some major shifts come through. And like I said, um, I think it was when I was talking with Sue that we are going to have those aha moments. Hold on to your hat. So if you are open to receiving, ready to receive, have done the work on yourself, massive, massive stuff is going to come through this year. And we just need to trust and surrender to the process to allow that to happen. You know, people are going through major changes. We are being pushed. We are being called to rise above where we have been, to step into that higher vibrational energy. And I honestly think a lot of us are so needing it, are so ready for it. And if you like me, being very impatient, waiting for it. Um, but we are being called to step up. And I think we are going to have to help other people to rise above as well. So try not to get pulled into the drama. Try not to get pulled into the fear that goes along with everything at the moment. Stand in your power. Be the awesome self that you are. Do you. Don't worry about anybody else or the expectations and stuff. We just need to do us. Tamara saying, I am exhausted on all levels. Laugh out loud. That doesn't surprise me, honey, because I know, I actually said to somebody today, if I keep going the way I'm going, I feel like I'm bordering on burnout. So I know I need to change things in the way I'm doing it. So, you know, is it working smarter, not harder? Is it changing our vibrations even that slight bit more to align ourselves at the moment there's a whole diff like a whole lot of different things at play that we need to sort of take into mind uh, amy says i'm still heavily with grief honey i'm sending you a very big healing hug and grief is one of those things that affect us in so many different ways we all need to do, and Nicole heard me say this because Nicole dealt with a lot of grief um, last year and early this year. Um, there is no right or wrong way to grieve. It's how it works for you. But my biggest thing is asking people to be present in that grief. Don't block it off. Don't try to push it to the side to ignore it and push through to keep going because that grief may go dormant for now, but will rear its head when you least expect it. So give yourselves the permission for those that are grieving, no matter what it is, to do the grief cycle with no expectations and just follow that path that you are guided on in that way okay uh amy says thank you so much honey i just miss you so much and it's only been two weeks since he passed he feels that hun he knows that um you miss him you feel his energy around you and it's just trying to trust in those things that you're feeling the grief can block the signs as well all right so please don't put the pressure on yourself and allow yourself that time and that space to grieve in the way that you need to okay lots of love to you honey sandra says any messages for me from mum please thank you dear lady thank you hope you're resting peacefully now ah rest resting <laughs> i don't I was just going to say, I don't know how to rest, but I do. <laughs> so, um, all right. Mum's definitely a little bit more peace because you're finding more peace in your life is the reference I get, honey. Um, I do get there's a lot of love and a lot of pride that comes through. Now, I'm not sure why I need to acknowledge Sandra. Uh, sorry, honey, I just realised I didn't have your comment up. What would be the white rose for you? Okay. So I don't know if mum was laid to rest near the white rose bushes or there's significance to the white rose for her, but I'm just getting the white rose put in front of me as well and need to acknowledge that. All right. Believe me, things are going to get easier, huh? All right. So stand your ground, nurture you, put yourself first um, and watch. So I'm getting all these friends requests tonight. Watch how that energy will start to settle. 
Okay, the enheightened stuff is pretty much behind you. Uh, Leah, you are very welcome, honey. Uh, Cindy says, hi, uh, I went to the specialist ear, the specialist ear. They said, um, oh, okay, yeah, I read this before. Uh, they said, um, Menorrhage, sorry, I'm not even going to pronounce that disease as have vertigo had strain, uh, strange as got in. A, uh, I don't know if it's your typing, Hannah, or my my reading. Uh, got in early when they were uh, there is a waiting. I am having an MRI scan for ears. Will they be able to confirm plus? medication too i do get a yes honey i do get the reference to you are going to uh start to get some answers all right so you'll have a clearer picture after your uh, uh mri she said shared publicly thank you honey um amy says no i'm a nurse okay hun. um beautiful and all right so like my daughter said, Mum, you always go over time. I just realised the time. And I probably got about 10 minutes before she'll be home and say, I told you so. Um, let me just grab one more. Jasmine, I just got a very good job, but have a baby, third baby in three months. So this is a massive challenge. Would love a card. I'm just going to split the deck, honey. Um, and I get congratulations on the job. And my feeling is it's all going to work out. You've got the breath card, honey. And it's very much about releasing what no longer serves you. Find that inner, inner, uh, inner peace, that energy. Um, and that will bring balance around it all. So all the best with that. All right. So I know there's still some people there that I haven't got to with your questions. Jeanette's saying 777, so you're seeing the sevens. I've seen somebody sees the twos there before as well. Acknowledge the signs when they come up. I always, oh, they're ringing in my ear. I always say to people, trust where your mind goes. That very first thought when you see the signs is that true connection with spirit. It's the second um thought that is your monkey mind questioning whether you wanted to see that did i um, imagine that you know was that right but so trust that very first thought okay so what i want to do is pull a card for everybody in general just for some guidance uh for the week ahead or if you think of a question now um <laughs> why i pull that and the card just jumped out the answer to your question, the Dove card has come up. So whatever your question is, whatever it is you're going through at the moment, find that peace, make the peace offering, absorb the silence and the inner peace, go back within. And when you do that, you are going to have that clarity of the bigger picture. All right. And it really, really is about the bigger picture at the moment okay so that is a guidance card for everybody tonight and i want to say a big thank you to everybody that's joined in thank you for the beautiful members that have joined in as well don't forget if you would like to join my membership leannewinston.com forward slash become a member um or you can just go to leannewinston.com and you will find the the met the two memberships in there now if you don't want to do it on a 297 per 297 dollars per year um you can pay 40 dollars a month or for the lwpm mini membership it is 97 dollars for the year or 10 dollars a month both memberships have different stuff the first membership the full membership the 297 you get about six thousand odd dollars worth of value in there a year um and i have and to those new uh, the members in the full membership you would have maybe seen an email if you've already checked your emails today of a monthly guidance for the month ahead. Um, so that's something that I have now added to your membership as a new extra to it. Those in the full membership and the mini membership get a weekly guidance card reading for the week ahead. Uh, each week they get in the bigger membership you get a whole heap of um meditations in the me medium member sorry the mini membership the lower membership you get three or four i think it is meditations and in the bigger membership you get access to um to workshops 
um, and different things like that as well. And when we are back out there doing live shows on stage again, there will be VIP tickets for my bigger Inner Circle members on the full membership as well. So if you would like a deck of your own cards, um, please help support us as publishers in a soul um, guidance oracle you can buy them through my website or go to inner soul guidance.com.au and we can certainly post them out i think in a couple of weeks time um deb is at a expo at blackwood on a sunday i think it is um you can always jump into inner soul dot com dot a year and go into the calendar because they are put up there i am looking at doing some pop-up shops in shopping centers very shortly in adelaide i'll have more dates around that as well as the expos that i will be running all right take care take time out for yourself ground and breathe breathe is a big thing at the moment know that you are an amazing soul and amazing things are happening when you bring that spiritual balance in if you want to uh, learn more about your intuition i certainly have the beginners level one class online um, and when things calm down in the world i certainly will go back to teaching that as an in-class one as well lots of blessings to you all be the amazing self that i know you can be and just do you i will see you soon and i'll be live when uh, friday night with Roz at 8 30 here on my time tv and through our pages as well all right bye for now